Hi guys, and hello from the hilltop. I'm Waxa Hachi Blue, and I welcome you to my channel, The Plateau Perfectionist. Today's video is my 2022 uh, plan with me for the month of February. So the two colors that I used for this month are this Kiwi Zebra Mod Liner and an Art 101 in yellow. And since I had such vibrant pin colors, I decided to do parakeets or budgies. Uh, they're, they're called both. So um, if you've never seen a, a budgie parakeet, they actually come in uh, two primary color styles. One is the yellow and green, which is what I decided to use for all of my budgies in this particular uh, spreads. And then they also come in a blue as well as a bluish gray color. Um, there's other variants uh, of those types of colors, but those are the two primary and the more primary or more well known is the yellow and green. So um, you will also see it's an additional couple of colors. So I used a brown colored pencil for the uh, perches that all of the budgies are sitting on as well as a one gray. Uh, I let it slip just because it was a neutral color and I needed to add a color for the um, for the beaks and the feet and things. And then I also used a le pin that I got for Christmas for all of the outlining. So uh, as for anybody who has ever seen any of my, my arts type style stuffs, I do a very scribble art art style. So you'll see that the they're very scribbly in their uh, colorings and all of that stuff. They're not quite uh, matchy matchy to the border lines and, and even the markings and things on the birds is not 100% what's accurate. I, I don't go for essential accuracy. Uh, art is supposed to be fun and it's supposed to be simple. Well, not it doesn't necessarily have to be simple, but my art <laughs> is usually very simple. And I just wanted to kind of keep it fun and whimsical. And it did actually take me a hot minute to kind of figure out where or how I wanted to do these um, budgies, these parakeets, because um, I didn't quite know if uh, the markers would smudge or they. I was having an issue doing the colors after I did the outlines, regardless of kind of what pen I use. So that's why I went ahead and went with this. I did the colors first and then um, then I did the outlines. So you see my uh, gray dot marker here I just happen to have on hand to kind of give the beaks and things their own um, their own little bit of shading and then of course it was just a brown Prisma colored pencil that I happen to have on hand to make the branches and I just kept it very very simple. Um, I did add a little cutout here on the right page so there'll be some more budgies, uh, parakeets, on the other page to kind of give it that that box look. Uh, but in the meantime, it was just, uh, just is what it is. I did add this little outline just around the edge of the page just to kind of fill in the excessive amount of negative space. It's not perfect, but I do think it definitely adds a little bit to the page. So uh, I have enjoyed having a mini calendar, so that's one reason I put one here. No, I did not put the name uh, days of the week, but I just put the calendar, but you know, it is what it is. And as for washies, I have these two solid color, I have a yellow and a green, and um, I actually used all of the green up, which was kind of nice, I've never done that before. And um, so uh, you'll see how I use them throughout the spreads and all that good loveliness. So for a calendar, I decided not to do a normal calendar. It isn't, there's no boxes. What I did was I wrote out uh, the weeks. Uh, so the first week only has six days and then seven days, seven days. And then I, I just added the February 28th to the bottom of the last week. And this is basically, a, I would call it almost a task calendar. So as things come around, on the calendars, uh, I just write them in accordingly, uh, just like a, a task list. List, not lisk. Oh, good grief, Charlie Brown. Um, anyway, this is actually one of my favorite parakeets, by the way. I love this happy little parakeet. I, I showed it to my mom, and she said, well, he's having a fun time. <laughs> I also really lucked out that I ended up with the uh, Kiwi 
zebra mod liner. The zebra mod liners do add a pretty good um, layered effect if you use it in more than one uh, swipe. So it added a little bit more dimension to the parakeets and because otherwise they would have looked very, very flat. The reason I went with the dot marker is because it had the fat, the fat end for the, um, for the beaks and things and it also had the very fine point to get to those teeny tiny feet because if you've ever actually seen a budgie or a parakeet they have very tiny feet because they're a very tiny bird um i had parakeets when i was little actually that was one reason that was something that actually inspired me for this particular uh deciding to go with this this spread idea uh when i was little and i'm going to tell you a story so it's story time when I was little, I was about four years old, I had a parakeet land on our front porch. And it was one of the white ones, if you've ever seen. They're kind of on the rare side. Neither, they're not as common as the yellow and greens that I'm drawing here. Um, but I ran off to get my mom, who was in the backyard uh, working on her rose bush, and I said, Mommy, Mommy, there's a snowbird on the front porch. Again, I'm four, bear with me. Her exact words were, that's nice, dear. She didn't believe me, obviously, because I'm a four-year-old. And I said, they're going, no, no, really, it's still there. She's like, well, why don't you go check and make sure it's still there, and then come, then I'll come see. So I ran back to the front porch. It's still perched on our porch bench. Ran back to Mom and all but hauled her to the front, front porch, and there it was. It was sitting in the shade. Um, where I grew up, we live in Houston. Um, parakeet budgies like this are not common. It was more than likely a pet that had escaped. But anyway, um, my mom went and got some bird seed out of the out of the garage that we had for our bird feeders, and he quite literally hopped into her hand, and he was with us for the full lifespan of a of a parakeet, which is about 16 years. Uh, he we it's this was way before you know lost pets on Facebook. There, you know, I grew up in the early 90s when the internet wasn't exactly a thing. Um, so there was really no way to, to find the owner. We, we did try, but we did with no success. And so that was how we ended up with our first parakeet snowbird, because again, four-year-old. And then we did try to get him a companion, which was a yellow and green one, and his name was Checkers. And he was not a very nice bird. <laughs> He was, you know, you, you have the nice birds that tweet and they enjoy being around people and all this other stuff. Because again, this is, you know, Snowbird was probably somebody's pet and been trained since birth. Uh, Checkers hated everybody. <laughs> and he made it very obvious that he hated everybody. He would squawk and, and make lots of noise. And uh, anyway, he, he passed away first. And uh, it took about a day for Snowbird to figure out that Checkers wasn't around anymore. And next thing we know, he's all twittering and happy again. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very sad ending. Uh, or, you know, it's not a nice ending. But anyway, it is what it is. And that's the history of my, my experience with parakeets. Uh, I do love these little birds. I, I think they're a wonderful pet, which is one reason I made this particular spread, which is um, just little uh, tips and notes that I did about uh, budgies so uh, and so like I said the most common color is the yellow and green um, and they but they also come in blues whites and even grays uh, there is a wild version of budgies that are from Australia and then there are the domestic budgies so um, they're a little smaller their feathers are a little less wild looking and um, you can get a budgie to talk usually it's the males that talk uh, because they are excellent at mimicking and um, the way to tell a female from a male is actually the crest piece across the bridge of their beak I'm not gonna say nose I'll try not to say nose because but it is where that that is their central nose is that little colored piece um, so blue ones are males and then the brown ones are females and the female one will actually change color slightly when they are ready to nest and lay eggs and when they become of age to, to nest and lay eggs. Um, I believe, I believe both of our personal budgies were males. Uh, I think maybe Snowbird might have been a female. I honestly can't remember and I don't have very many pictures of her when or him. 
of the bird when I was younger. And even then, they're very old and yellowed pictures. <laughs> but anyway, um, so that's that's that. And anyway, I, I will say I did add one note that was um, a little different in that. Uh, so at the bottom, I left a, a big blank space. I left one space for an additional sticky note if I found some more facts that I really liked. Um, but this one was probably the most important note, so I wanted to write it out and make it a little more punchy. Um, so budgies, parakeets, and, and other bird-type animals is one of the most um, uh, abandoned animals uh, in of, of pethood, I guess you could say, you know, it, it's one of the ones that's most surrendered because par uh, parrots and them, they live for so long. They are very loud. They are meant to be loud. They're meant to be heard for miles. Uh, they can suffer from anxiety and rip their feathers out and they're very social animals. And so that was one reason I wrote this note is to, you know, not just uh, educate you about budgies, but also to remind anyone who's ever thinking about getting one that they, you know, just like any other part of the family, they need to be respected and treated with love and not just abandoned because you can't take care of them. Anyway, that's a particular um, kink in my craw, I guess you could say. So since it is February, I went ahead and made this particular spread for some February plans. Um, I do have a uh, I do have a boyfriend and we are planning on going to do some stuff for Valentine's Day. We've been invited to an anniversary dinner for one of his co-workers and uh, we were going to go to do that and just kind of enjoy the weekend together. And um, these little budgies here, I, I've, they're kind of me and him. I won't say which one's which, but I, I'm the smaller one. <laughs> He's taller than me. Um, but anyway, uh, just a little little page here just to add some, uh, you know, I, since last year I really focused on the the Lunar New Year, uh, I figured I would I would kind of change it up and, and focus on the Valentines for this one. And then I was a quote page on the other side. Uh, so hopefully y'all will enjoy your Valentines, and if you're if you don't, or if you're single, still enjoy it regardless, darn it. I mean, last year I didn't have a Valentine because I wasn't dating anybody at the time. So I ended up making a spread uh, all about a Valentine for myself. Self-love kind of thing. Treat yourself like you would want to be treated by a significant other on Valentine's Day. Uh, but yeah, just a little bit of little doodle here and quote there and it, it all worked out pretty good. So this spread is uh, just my budget spread. You've seen me probably make it a million times. Um, it is a rolling total style budget. And so it's basically, I have different columns that I use for uh, my different uh, bank accounts, uh, cards, savings, whatever I need to. And I just create a rolling total to kind of um, keep track of what my current balance is, uh, how the amounts affect it. and. Like I said uh, in my setup video for 2022, one of my goals this year is to save, put, put back some money into savings. Uh, I've kind of depleted my savings some, uh, what with the holidays and, and having to go to the city more often because I live in the middle of nowhere. And um, just that kind of situation. So uh, now that my student loans are paid off, hallelujah, <laughs> I need to... 
uh, re refill the coffers as it would be. <laughs> so this one was just real simple. This little bit of green uh, paper that I had from a scrapbook book that I had, some washi, and we just kept it simple to move right on. Uh, I did do a Dutch door system for my weeklies. Uh, so I have the budgies here up at the top and I'll be able to see them throughout the entire uh, month or yeah months worth of weeks I didn't actually do a habit tracker or anything like that I like I said the habit tracker is more to kind of get me into the habit of remembering that I've done something uh, so far I've actually been really good about keeping up with my habits but I haven't really kept up with putting them in my habit tracker go figure <laughs> um, so I, I decided just not to do one this is particular this particular time uh, I will admit something that I did add to my January spreads and I will probably add to these spreads later is on each day I like to add a little box and just write down my uh, weight for that particular day uh, this goes back to uh, me losing quite a bit of weight on the keto diet and I'm trying to kind of get back on track I slacked a little bit during the holidays like everybody does I'm trying to get back on the horse and so by just at least writing down my weight for the day I can kind of uh, keep myself accountable on which direction the scale is going some of these particular budgies turned out a little better than others um, as you can see I kind of repeat some of the designs I dearly love the one that's cleaning his feathers I think it's absolutely cute um, I did also decide at the very last minute to change the size of the branch that they were perched on. So if the tails on the right ones don't look 100% great, <laughs> you know, you just, just got to go with it. Um, I did try to do different uh, weeklies for each, uh, do different spreads for each of the weeklies. I mean, let me actually say what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um and you'll see that later and then I also added the tabby do's on the right hand side uh, so something I so the washi tape I told you I ran out of my washi tape so if you watched my setup spread you'll notice that I put washi tape on the edge of each of my uh, pages for my setups I ended up doing the same thing for the each of the days of my weeklies for January so they're not as quite visible but I still added it and I actually continued that theme here in my big pages for uh, the month of February. And then, of course, I ran out of the green washi tape, so I couldn't put it on my weeklies. And so that was... So the weeklies ended up with just the washi tape that kind of separates out the days, you know, and, and throughout my weekly spreads. But they aren't uh, on the Dutch doors like I did. Uh, in the rest in my previous previous videos um yeah yeah oh so uh, I have been very busy <laughs> I try to I try to tell everybody about my life because I think everybody everybody's interested in my life yeah totally totally right right <laughs> so um, for those of you who don't know, I recently started a new job, uh, effective the beginning of January. I moved from one office to a different office two blocks down. <laughs> it's about the same pay, but it's a, a different setup, and I have uh, a little more uh, room to grow as both a person and, and as well as a um, in a professional capacity. So uh, that is one thing. I basically dropped uh, feet first at the ninth hour into a rather large project. So I'm having to learn my way around that. Um, I've had to do um, meeting minutes and all that other stuff. And it's, it's actually been really fun. I have, I have not had a moment of really laziness. I have kept busy every day regardless of what I have to work on. My task, I always have tasks on my task list and I really really enjoyed that. I don't like to sit stagnant and I don't like busy work. I've There's very few people in this world that I've ever met that do. Um, so in my head what I'm doing right now I can 
even if I am doing busy work, I can do one type of busy work and then change over to a different type of busy work. Whereas my previous job, I did not necessarily have that kind of opportunity. Um, but it is what it is. And I am over where I am now and I'm really enjoying it. I also had to take my dog to the vet. <laughs> um, my For the past few months, my dog has had a bit of an issue uh, on his rear end. He had a cyst. And I was one week into my full time working at my new job. And my mother calls me and says, you need to take your dog to the vet. And I ask, what's wrong? She says, the cyst has ruptured. He needs to go to the vet. So I took him to the vet. Uh, the, the, the vet ended up removing the, the cyst on his rear, which uh, made a very large mess because is a very vascular area as that's the vet's quote, not mine. <laughs> and, um, anyway, I got home today and I find out he has popped all of his stitches out of his rear end. I am not happy and it will probably revolve me having to call the vet and make sure, do I need to take him back and get more stitches put in? Oh, it's just a hot mess. <laughs> Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, the things we do for love, he is my baby. And so I just want him to live a long and healthy life. And I know that that particular bump on his rump <laughs> was not very comfortable. Um, oh, so uh, let's get off my life for a talk. Let's go back to the, the bullet journal. Um, so when I was creating these Dutch doors, um, I didn't really do my math right per se in that um, the tops where I cut the Dutch doors out um, I got them too close to the stitches in the book the the binding of the book and so the other half that wasn't cut was very wobbly that so I ended up having to cut extra pages to even it out in order to fill those pages I decided to do this spread, which um, I basically turned this whole page into a plaid uh, because the Zebra Mod Liners do really well with making plaid patterns because they layer so well. And so um, you probably saw throughout the other spreads I had this plaid in a couple other places, but this is for where I can stick my sticky notes because I like to, I use a lot of sticky notes. It's like I say at the office, I run off of sticky notes and paper clips. <laughs> So, and the same thing goes for my bullet journal. So since my Dutch doors are kind of small, uh, I usually will ha leave myself a spot to put sticky notes uh, throughout my spreads. And uh, so this is where those will live and they will be very happy and merry and all that good stuff. And, and no, the, the plaid isn't perfect, but to be honest, that's, that's how I roll. <laughs> the page after this, because I did have one extra page, um, I decided to do kind of to tie into the Valentine's plans, acts of love. So I just decided to give myself a, a bit of space to write out um, acts of love that I think about or that uh, someone does for me or I do for someone else. Uh, personally, I would love to be able to get my mom some roses or something for Valentine's Day. Whether or not that actually happens, who knows? Also, if my screen starts changing colors and stuff like that, I, I'm still trying to figure out the lights and the darks. And I've been taking some Skillshare classes, not sponsored by the way, uh, just to kind of figure out my, my warm tones, my cool tones, and what looks best on the screen. Um, so I'm still trying to, to figure all of that out. If it, if it looks good, great. If it looks like it needs some work, that's also great because I'm still learning. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so this will be the last spread. Um, while I finish it out, I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then, and, you know, give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that too. I also absolutely love when people comment. And if you feel inclined and you like my work, then subscribe. I leave that to you. I don't ever want to put pressure on you because this is just for entertainment. I do not make money off of this. And I honestly don't ever plan to. 
Uh, in the meantime, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to find me on Instagram, I do have an Instagram. It is the Plateau Perfectionist with underscores in between each word. I'm also on Facebook by the same name minus the underscores. But uh, here, enjoy the flip through and I will see y'all next month. Bye.